Hey guys, let's configure XPEC security for Elasticsearch using Ansible. To do that, first we have to enable XPEC security on the whole cluster. After that, we have to set up Elasticsearch key store and a bootstrap password. This is needed because the super user Elastic can get its password from a key called bootstrap.password that is stored inside Elasticsearch key store. Now, this key store can also be used to store any other sensitive information about your cluster. Once we've set up the password for super user Elastic, we can use this user to authenticate against the cluster and utilize create or update user API with the API call like this to set up passwords for other built-in accounts. Now, before we move on and start writing our playbooks, let's see how we can interact with this Elasticsearch key store. Now, as you can see, I already have a SSH connection into my Elasticsearch server. So, on the terminal, I'll type in cd space slash usr slash share slash Elasticsearch slash bin. Now, inside the bin folder, if I do an ls minus ltr, you will see that there are a lot of scripts and the one we are after is the Elasticsearch dash key store script. This script allows us to interact with the key store on this machine. So, I'll type in sudo space dot slash Elasticsearch dash key store and then minus H to display the help menu for this script. On the help menu, you can see that we can create a new key store using this script, list, add and remove settings from the key store, upgrade the format of the key store and also check the password for this key store. And finally, we can also change the password on this key store if we like to. Now, let's first check if the key store that is currently on this machine is password protected or not. So, let's first clear out of this and let's do sudo dot slash elasticsearch dash key store and to check password we can just type in has dash passwd now as you can see the current key store is not password protected to protect it using a password what we have to do is we have to type in passwd after the elasticsearch key store command and they should prompt you for a new password I'll just leave it empty because we're going to set the password using our automation scripts. Now let's see how you can add an entry into this key store. To add an entry, you simply type in add and then the key name. So let's call it user.name. Now for value, let's just type in anything and this will store this key and value inside the key store. To make sure that this is stored inside the key store, let's use list and this will display on the screen the keys that are stored inside this key store. Now after that, let's remove this entry from this key store. So remove user.name and finally let's do list again to make sure that this key was removed. So this is how you can interact with the key store on Elasticsearch nodes. Now let's start writing our Ansible playbooks. Now on my lab system here, you'll see that I'm inside the Elasticsearch role and inside the template directory and I've got the Elasticsearch.yaml file up. Now in this file, first we'll do a comment and we'll say XPAC security configuration. Now after that, we can type in xpac.security.enabled and the value for this setting will be true to enable xpac security cluster wide. But what we will do is we will create a variable here called xpac underscore security underscore enabled and we will store the value for xpac security enabled inside this variable and we will move this variable up to the defaults directory. So I will copy this. I'll go to defaults and main.yaml. Here, I'll make another comment and I'll say expect configuration. And I'll paste this variable here. And here, I'll change the value to true. Now, after that, I can save these files and go to my main.yaml file. Now, here, what I'll do is I'll split the configuration into three different files. First file will be to install, configure and start the Elasticsearch service. 
The second file will be to check that a key store exists and set up the bootstrap password. The third file will be to use the create or update user API to update the passwords for all other built-in users. So under tasks, what I'll do is I'll first create a new directory and I'll call this directory security. And under security, I'll create a new file and I'll call this keystore.yaml and I'll create another file and I'll call this setup built-in user. So built in user.yaml. So now I can go to main.yaml and here I'll add a comment and I'll say expat security configuration and I'll type in minus name including expat security setup configuration and I'll use the include directive and I'll include security slash keystore.yaml now after this I will save my files and move on to keystore.yaml here I'll type in three dashes to denote it's a yaml file then I'll add a comment and say create key store here I'll add the first task to check if a key store exists and if it does not create the key store so I'll type in create elastic search key store and I'll type in become yes and command and after this, I'll type in the command to do. So, slash USR, slash share, slash Elasticsearch, slash bin, slash Elasticsearch, dash key store, create. Now, the argument for this command will be creates because creates will allow us to check if the key store exists and if it does not then only this create command would be run so we'll type in creates now here we'll have to type in slash etc slash elastic search slash elastic search dot key store now what we'll do is We'll have to use these directories USR share Elasticsearch and slash etc Elasticsearch multiple times during this demo. So what we'll do is we'll create a variable for these directories so that we can always call that variable and we do not have to worry about any typos. So I'll copy this, go to my main.yaml and under expect configuration I'll create a new variable called es underscore home and I'll paste the value of user share Elasticsearch here and I'll also create another one called es underscore conf underscore the and the value for this variable is slash etc slash Elasticsearch now I can go back to my keystore.yaml file and replace these with the variables so yes underscore home and I'll replace this one with an es underscore conf underscore dar. Now after I've done that what I'll do is I'll use environment and I'll set up an environment es underscore path underscore conf and in that environment variable I'll store es underscore conf underscore dar. Now I forgot to include this in double quotes. Okay, so now this task is done. So we'll type in name 
and the name would be set Elasticsearch key store permissions and here I type in become yes and file so state would be file path would be yes underscore con underscore the so slash etc slash elastic search slash elastic search dot key store corner equals root group equals elastic search and mode equals zero six six zero so read write access for owner and group now what we can also do is we can cut the value of group make this a variable so es underscore group go to defaults main.yaml es underscore group and paste that value here same thing es underscore owner and change it to root and copy the value of this variable and change the value of root to be the variable and we can now do the same thing for our mode so yes underscore mode and let's go back to defaults here yes underscore mode 0660 now after this let's go back to our keystore.yaml file now next we'll run list command against our key store and store the output of list command into a variable using this task so we'll do minus name and say check if elasticsearch key store is set up and we'll use become yes command and the command we're going to use is es underscore home slash pin slash elastic search dash key store list and we'll use the register module to, to register the output of this command so register And we'll use the variable list underscore key store. Now here we'll do a changed underscore when and we'll set up changed underscore when's value to be false so that it never reports a changed status because we do not want a changed status reported for this particular step. Now after that we'll do environment and the environment for this file is again yes underscore path underscore conf yes underscore conf underscore dot and check underscore mode will be no now if you set up the value for check underscore mode as no it allows the task to be run in normal mode so even if you do a dry run on this playbook this particular task is run now let's move on to the next task where we set up the bootstrap password before we begin with the next step we have to store the bootstrap password somewhere so to do that let's go to ansible level and create a new directory and call it vars and inside the directory let's create a new file and call it credentials.yml what we will do is we will use this file to store all the credentials and later on we will password protect this file using ansible vault so here first let's set up the basic authentication username and password which means the name of elastic super user and the bootstrap password so the variable would be es underscore api underscore basic underscore auth 
underscore username and the value for this variable is elastic next I'll copy this and paste change username to password and I'll set up a bootstrap password so I'll just call it demo password and I'll save this file now I'll go back to keystore.yaml here I can now write the next task so name and name would be create bootstrap password for elastic user become yes shell and the shell command I'm gonna write is echo and I'll echo the basic auth password and I'll pipe this to es underscore home slash bin slash elastic search dash key store minus x so that the key store add command will take the key value from standard input and key is bootstrap dot password after this I will type in a when condition and the condition is we need to make sure that API basic auth username is defined and list key store is also defined so list underscore key store is defined and we need to make sure that API basic auth username is elastic and finally we need to make sure that in key store list bootstrap dot password is not already in the standard output so bootstrap dot password not in list underscore key store dot std out underscore lines now after that we need to set up an environment so we'll copy this and paste here and because we are echoing the bootstrap password for the key value bootstrap password we'll have to make sure that it does not appear in the verbose output to do that we need to type in no log true so this setting will make sure that this password is not shown on the verbose output now before we move on let's double check our file to see that there are no syntax errors so here I need to change create to creates because that's the correct word and file I need to change that to is equal to change that path to conf underscore dir after this we can include the built-in user setup so hash including built-in user setup and name including built-in user setup and we can include the file setup dash built dash in dash user dot yml and now we can save our file and and under shell command in bootstrap password I'll need to remove this white space between double quote and the curly brackets now we will use the change user API to set up passwords for other built-in users so first we have to store those passwords in our credentials file so let's go to vars and credentials.yaml and here let's store the username and password for all the built-in users 
Now here I've copied all the usernames and passwords for built-in users. After this, we can go to setup built-in user.yaml file. The first thing we'll have to do on this file is three dashes to denote that this is a YAML file. And we need to restart Elasticsearch service first. So minus name, restarting Elasticsearch. service name Elasticsearch and state would be restarted now after that we can start setting up our built-in user passwords the first password we'll set up is the elastic user password so we'll change the password from bootstrap password to something else I'll write a comment updating built-in user passwords I'll also write a comment here and I'll say restarting Elasticsearch now here I need to type in name and update Elastic super user password we'll use the URI module and the URL we will use is HTTP localhost 9200 slash underscore security slash user slash elastic slash underscore password method we will use is post body format would be JSON body will be slash double quotes password slash and slash double quotes again and this time let me just open up configuration.yml it will be elastic underscore password so I'll copy that so I'll paste the password elastic underscore password and since this is a variable I'll enclose it inside curly brackets now I'll escape the quotes as well and put a space here status code would be 200 and the user we will use to authenticate this is the basic auth username so we'll copy that paste it and password would be api basic auth password and close the curly braces okay something seems odd here let me double check okay enter and we want to force basic authentication so force basic underscore auth yes and we want to validate certs to be no so we're not validating certificates now this code seems okay the next thing we have to do is let's create some variables so we can templatize this code as well so under defaults main.yaml let's move this on this side here the first thing we can do is we can take out this URL 
so let's take this URL out so cut we can paste it here and we can call this es underscore api underscore uri and this url can further be broken into protocol host and port so we can call it es underscore api underscore protocol HTTP and ES underscore API underscore host and the value is localhost and ES underscore API underscore port and the value will be 9200 and now we can use all these three variables to make up the ES underscore API URL now since these two are strings we need to Put these two under double quotes like this and here we can change this to reflect our variables so s underscore api underscore uri now we can also take out the api name which is underscore security so let's do control x and here we'll give the variable a name es underscore api es underscore security underscore api so coming to our main.yml under defaults we'll now write the variable here so this will allow us to change the API name if Elasticsearch makes any changes inside our main.yml. We don't have to come and change our playbook. Now after this, we can also take out the username. So this would be ES API basic auth username. So let's just copy that and paste it. Now after this, we can take out the value for validate search as well. So we can change this to a variable called es underscore validate underscore search. Let's copy the variable. Move it here. And the value would be no. We need to include this inside double quotes we can also take out force basic authentication so es underscore force underscore basic underscore auth and again double quotes and we can move this here as well es underscore force underscore basic underscore auth and the value is yes now after this let's save our file and let's double check for any syntax errors now the code looks okay so what we can do is we can copy this block to create the code for other credentials so for each one of them we'll just copy this and under name change elastic to kibana now under url we need to change the username so instead of es api basic auth we'll remove that and the username would be kibana underscore username and instead of elastic underscore password it could be kibana underscore password and the user and password that we will use to authenticate this against would be elastic but the password would change to a new password for elastic so we'll change this to reflect 
elastic underscore password. I've made the necessary changes and now we have a block for each of these built-in users. So we have a block for Elastic, Kibana, Rockstash, Beeps, APM system and remote monitoring user. Now we can save this file and let's double check it for any syntax errors. Now the code looks okay. Before we can run this role, we have to go to deploy-demo.yaml and here we have to include our credentials.yaml file. So in the task for ELK host, we'll type in vars underscore files two dots slash vars slash credentials.yaml. Now we can save this file and open up terminal. Let me expand this. On terminal, I'll type in cd ansible and hit the up arrow to run my playbook. Now you can see that our playbook has successfully run. So now to test that we've configured XPack on the server, let's first SSH into the server. So SSH 34.105.43.26. And once in the server, we can type in curl minus u to supply username and password. We'll use elastic user and we'll go to our credentials file. We'll copy the password for elastic user the updated one so i'll copy this and i'll paste it here and i'll type in minus xcat http localhost 9200 and as you can see we were able to successfully get cluster details now, if I run this query without using username and password, as you can see, it's giving me an error saying missing authentication credentials for REST request. So this is how you can configure XPEC security for Elasticsearch using Ansible. Now, one last thing to note is that because of the nature of this playbook, it is very important that you follow the correct syntax. If you end up with a small syntax error like this where you have a space between double quotes and curly brackets your playbook will fail and you will get authentication errors so to avoid that just make sure that you take care while writing this playbook i will also attach a link to these playbooks from my git repository in the description of this video so you guys can use that as your reference with this we've come to the end of this lecture thank you for watching i will see you in the next one if you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.